Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another Hammer Productions Night. Tonight, I will be reviewing The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll, released in 1960. The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll stars Paul Massey, Don Adams, Christopher Lee, David Kassoff, Francis DeWolf, and Norma Marla. The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll was directed by Terence Fisher. This one was based on a script by Wolf Mankiewicz, which was, of course, based on the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Now, this film is unique for two reasons. Number one, the serum that is normally ingestible that makes him into Mr. Hyde. It is injected with a needle, which was a uh, chancy to uh, go with that route of uh, how he becomes Hyde. The second difference being what Hyde and Jekyll look like. In the original story and in all other film iterations of this story, Jekyll is the well-to-do socialite, well-kempt, good-looking, clean-shaven, and he is still a good guy, but he and is trying to do the right thing by doing creating this serum. But he's a very good-looking, well-to-do man. Whereas Hyde is supposed to be his monstrous side, and he has all this hair, you know, normally they had him being all bearded and hairy and monstrous looking and everything. And this, Jekyll is perceived as not as well kept. He has facial hair. Um, his hair is not really that well um, fancy or anything like that. Um, and it's longer, um, not as long as mine, but, um, still long. Um, but when he injects himself with the serum and becomes Hyde, he becomes good looking. And he's the big socialite going out to places, whereas Jekyll was more, um, just staying at home, doing his work and everything. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's quite a change where they flip those things around and everything in here. And Paul Massey um, gives an excellent performance, uh, giving each persona different gravitas and different ways inflections, the way that he talks, the way he speaks, the way he moves. Everything is different between Jekyll and Hyde. And it's a very well done performance in this film. Don Adams plays his <laughs> bitch of a wife um, named Kitty, who <laughs> pretends that she cares about Jekyll and wants to help him and everything, um, but she's screwing around with his best friend Paul, played by Christopher Lee. Um, so yeah, you uh, really feel for uh, Jekyll because at the right at the beginning, because he's being shortchanged by his own frickin' wife in this story. There is a scene in which um, Paul and Hyde 
get together and go out um, to some big social gala. And uh, they're just having a ball there. They're having fun here and everything. And one of the actors that's in this sequence um, is none other than a young Oliver Reed in one of his early roles. And uh, he was he was impressive just in the little small role that he played in this. Um, but, yeah, this is a very good take on the um, Jekyll and Hyde story. Francis DeWolf plays in this as the inspector, and uh, much like one of his earlier roles in... Uh, Hammer with uh, Hound of the Baskerville. He uh, he's quite good in this, playing this character. Um, I really enjoyed his performance in here, playing that character. So um, Hyde is since he's good looking and everything, he's more suave, debonair, and manipulative in his ways of doing stuff instead of being more just straight up. Um, f you know, flagrant evil. Um, as as you know, he still has those moments where you just see those eyes. You see that evil in his eyes and evil in his. You know, you can tell his mind is thinking of doing evil things. But he, uh, the way he looks with that different look of him being this good-looking. Um, socialite it just uh it's really unnerving the way that, that they flipped the script on that on this film and uh i think it works quite well so in closing i will give the two faces of dr jekyll from 1960 I will give this film a 8.5 out of 10. This is one of the better Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde movies. And if you have not seen it, I would highly recommend you check it out because it is a very good take on the story. But have you seen it? Do you agree with my review if you have seen it? Let me know in those comments down below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button because it really does help this channel out a lot. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. Alright, well... Hope you will join me tomorrow for Action Movie Night. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.